Hey, welcome again! You know where you are, right? This is Drumsticks on the channel. I am Alberto Iglesias. And you know, this, this is a different pair of drumsticks every week. Cool! Uh, this week, I have another request from our friend Eduardo La Espada, awesome guy. He knows a ton of things about drumsticks, <laughs> way more than me, I'm afraid. But uh, this is an old request I have from him, and uh, which is the signature, the Big Fear signature model for Cindy Blackman. Cool. So who is Cindy Blackman? As always, when we talk about a signature model. So uh, okay, well, I, I can give you one, one just one tip, which is gonna uh, I, I think is the the key point to know who is Cindy Blackman, which is she's a drummer for. Uh, Lenny Kravitz. You know that girl with a massive amount of her, <laughs> which is a super powerful groove. She's a soul woman playing. It's, it's, she's unbelievable. She's, she's great. She's, a, she's an also, I think she's a great drummer. And uh, But she also plays a lot of jazz, um, which is something I, I just found out, I don't know, uh, maybe one year after, I don't know, uh, just one day I was uh, I don't know, I was researching some information and I just see, oh, this is the, the player of uh, Lenny Kravitz and apparently she plays a lot of jazz too. So uh, the other kind of um, curious thing is that she's the wife of, you know, uh, she's uh, Carlos Santana's wife, <laughs> which is something I didn't know. So uh, cool. Uh, now we're going to, oh my God, I was forgetting something. I have to show you the picture. So, uh, here you have a picture of, of uh, Cindy Blackman. Cool. Okay, uh, now we're going to talk about the drumstick. First of all, as always, I'm going to give you the sizes, the measures and all that. Uh, we are talking about uh, 16 inches length of, of, of length. We have 0 0.565 uh, of grip, or thickness. Uh, we have a super short taper. And uh, one of the curious things is the tip. It's kind of uh, an arrow tip, but it's kind of rounded uh, on the sides. So just something, I would say that it's kind of, for, for me, it's in the middle between a teardrop and, a, and an oval tip. Something like that. Uh, it's hickory and uh, the regular fringe for, uh, from Big Fish, okay? Uh, now, okay, uh, now I think it's better if you can uh, see a picture of, of the drumstick and you can have an idea on how it looks like and all that. So here you have the, the drumstick. First of all, about this, the length and the, the thickness is just a 5A, okay? 16 inches and 0 0.565. So I would say that the heart of this, the heart of this uh, drumstick is, uh, is a 5A, okay? Uh, nothing to say about the thickness and all that, it's just as always, it's up to you if you feel comfortable with the 5A and all that stuff, cool. Um, but it's kind of the same feeling, okay? We're, we're going to say, I'm going to try to explain what's, what feels different for me. But it's kind of in that, uh, in that uh, world, okay, of the 5A. <laughs> so, um, okay, the two main differences in this case is, first of all, the taper, of course, and the tip. That's the, mm, the two things that you're going to find that are different from a regular 5A. Uh, first of all, the taper. Uh, well, what's, uh, what's happening here is that uh, because of the fact that he, she, she plays... Uh, uh, by the way, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to say a lot he instead of she in this video. Uh, sorry for that. I'm going to try to pay attention. Uh, so, back, back in business. Uh, <laughs> the, the taper, okay? The thing is that because of, that, of the fact that she, she plays kind of 
not heavy rock, but kind of powerful rock with Elena Kravitz, but she also wants to play jazz and she also plays a lot of jazz and other stuff. She was trying to find kind of a, a, a drumstick that, that she can use in all situations, okay? Uh, so it's kind of the opposite of what I try to do with this, <laughs> which is I have tons of different drumsticks in my drum band. So, but cool, I think it's cool if you want to have that. Um, so, that's why, that, that's why I think if, if we have a 5A, sometimes it's uh, the, the kind of sound that you get is not, um, maybe not powerful enough or, or fat enough or round enough to, for, for that kind of rock when you need that extra power, okay? Uh, that's why many people usually change from 5 to 5B, but maybe you, th you think, okay, I, I need that extra sound, but I, I prefer the Vibe Grip. Uh, this is a cool option, uh, because um, they, have, uh, they have kind of put more material here. It's just uh, uh, um, no, super short taper, as you can see. So we have more wood here. Uh, so two things happen. One, you have more power, okay, more, more material, more you know, uh, you have that extra power that you need. But at the same time, the, the drums have more tendency to go forward and the rebound suffers a little bit. Uh, I mean, suffers I mean that you, it's not so fast as in a regular 5A. Um, by the way, you have uh, a video of, of her uh, explaining this drum stick. And from, it's a video made by uh, Big Firth. And she explains the process and the things that uh, the, in fact, there's a lot of videos of singers uh, from Big Field, uh, uh, the most known players or signature models are, they usually have a video when they explain all that, or all that. It's cool. Um, in this case, she explains that. Uh, she, she explained uh, that um, she also tried a version of the drumstick with uh, longer taper, but she found out that when he was, she was playing um, uh, rock and all that, she was missing something of that sound, okay, uh, in the cymbals, for example, and all that. So, um, not, not, not only for, uh, it's curious, not, not, not only for rock, just also for jazz and all that, the kind of sound that she was getting, um, she, she felt like, like she was missing something. So that's why he fi she finally put this extra material here. Uh, so, in my opinion, it works really great in, in, for that, for rock, for e that extra sound that you are looking for. In my case, it's, it, it doesn't work for jazz, maybe because of the way I play, for sure, it's because of the way I play. But um, I feel like with this drumstick, I have to put more effort in, in controlling the sound and all that, uh, that comp if, if I compare that with, uh, with other drumsticks with, with uh, longer taper, okay? So we have that extra taper, or sorry, shorter taper, more power, okay? Uh, and less rebound at the same time. Now, the tip. The tip is really, really good. Um, uh, it's kind of, a, um, uh, as I was saying in the beginning, it's kind of a mix of, uh, of a teardrop and an oval tip. Uh, so it's kind of, if we think about a, a regular teardrop, it's like uh, it's being um, elongated, and you have, uh, they have round the, the, all that, uh, all, the, all this area, okay? So it's not like a, 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 an, an arrow where, when we, when we talk about an arrow tip, it's more extreme, okay? The, the, size, the sides are more flat and more extreme. In this case, we have that uh, rounded area, which is kind of something in the middle between an oval and that. So you have, uh, a little bit of both uh, tips, okay? You have these uh, extra overtones in cymbals, for example, uh, a fatter sound also in, in, uh, because there's more surface contacting the, the, the drum head. So you get that, but at the same time, because of the arrow part, you have this uh, uh, option of change. You, you can change the angle of attack and uh, as I've been saying in different videos, you have the, the possibility to change the, the, the kind of sound. 
uh, just modifying the way you attack the cymbal or the or even the the, the toms or the drums in general okay uh, the tip for me works really great it's like uh, i would say that it's uh, the feel that i get it's it's you can feel that extra uh, a more rounded sound or fatter sound bigger sound if you want uh, if you compare that if i've been comparing the, the sound with a regular 5a and you can feel that it's it's i think it's a great option for for that extra power okay honestly for me for the way i play it is not a i would never use this for jazz but um for for pop rock or the kind of rock that uh, Lenny Kravitz plays and all that, I think it's a really really great. It's, it's gonna work really great for you, um, and that's all I have to say about the drumstick. Okay, cool. If you have a chance, I would say just to sum up. Okay, uh, if you are a five A player and you feel like sometimes you are thinking about moving to five B, uh, even if you are not a fan of of the thickness and you really want to stay with the 5A, but you need more sound, super cool option, I think. Uh, for jazz, oh, uh, honestly, I, no, it, it doesn't work for me, but it depends, it's up to you. <laughs> okay, as always, uh, maybe in your case, it's what you're looking for. So cool, another option, okay? Uh, next week, what have, okay, uh, for the next week, I have something kind of strange. <laughs> Uh, which is the Cilian 5A Anti Vive. Uh, these drumsticks have they have this kind of a strange thing. I mean, well, I, I will talk about that in, a, in the next video. Okay, so I have seven days in front of me to try that, uh, and you have another seven days eh, to keep practicing and, and to keep trying drumsticks and all that. Sorry about the delay in the answers, as always, but uh, <laughs> I try to. Uh, maybe tomorrow I could uh, be uh, update myself <laughs> in all that. Okay, cool. Uh, see you in seven days. Okay, I'm waiting just just right here. Okay, goodbye.